Hey guys, this is Ian with Camp Nerd, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to add items to a list box and to be able to select those items to open up different things. Now, I've been working on an application for a client, and I figured this would be a good tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain uh, I'm using a panel and I've got it set to uh, transparent so it goes with the background as you can see right here you have the panel and what I have is I have two list box and this is actually for a church and what I'm going to be doing is whenever I click on the titled Genesis is going to bring this list box up and then it's going to give like the individual chapters now to show you uh, how it works this right here is the main layout of it for right now but like if I have Genesis right here I just populated the box and then I just click on Genesis and it brings this one up to where I can select each one which is nothing's gonna happen because I have not programmed that part yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that now once you set up your UI and you have your list box, whether it's two list box in a panel or just a single list box, what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on the list box and you're going to go over here to your events. And when you go to the events, you're going to select either the click or double click, whichever one you want. I like the double click because sometimes people just like to click once to highlight it and double click to actually activate it. And that's normally how computers are anyways. You have to double click everything. So I'm just going to keep it with the format of how everything that we know works. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the double click. And then that's going to bring you to your form over here, and it's going to load a double click event. All right, now what you want to do is you're going to type in if, and then whatever your list box is, mine is LST Old Testament. So if LST Old Testament dot selected item dot two string is equal to, and then Genesis, which is if you notice is the first one in the list, and then you're going to put LST box one dot visible equals true, which is that's this list box right here. Now, I don't have to leave it list box one and I don't have to have it to where it appears and disappears. I just think it looks a little bit more uh, professional that way instead of just having an empty blank box. So once you go through there, you're going to put in LST box one dot items dot clear and then you're going to close it with your uh, parentheses and your semicolon. Then you're just going to put list box one dot items dot add then Genesis 1 then Genesis 2 Genesis 3 or whatever items you are going to add and since I have that all through there it's going to come up to it now since we're here on the Exodus part what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in uh, list box dot one dot items dot clear list box ones dot items dot add exodus one all right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to highlight and copy this and so we're just going to copy and then we're going to come down and we're going to paste it so we'll just put just a few on there so you can kind of see what i'm doing so you got exodus one then you got exodus two exodus three Exodus 4, Exodus 5. And this could be anything that you want on there. Uh, you can have it to where it opens pages. Like this right here, just on the selected items of this list, I have it to where it opens up this list box. You can actually have this to where it opens up your pages and things like that. Uh, other forms, things... Uh, that you would use buttons for, you can actually use a list box for as well. Now, also, I'm going to show you that uh, once I have that, and you see I also have Leviticus 1 as well. Now, before I run this, what I'm going to do is if you click 
on your list box and come over to your properties, you're going to look for your uh, uh, selector uh, selection mode one. You can actually change that to multiple simple or multiple extended or none where they can't click on it all. I just have it clicked on one. Now, if you have it clicked on multiple, then you can sit there and click multiples at a time. But since I don't need that, it's just going to be one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the application in debugging mode and as you see it comes up completely populated and I will show you how to populate that here in a second you can do it programmatically or you can just use the property section but if you notice when I click on Genesis double click it brings this up now if you want to bring up Exodus where we put in the uh, list box one dot clear when I click on this it's going to clear this and add the items of Exodus and then same thing with Leviticus and this is just something if you have like a lot of different uh, files like say if you have a category called names you could have names click on names and list a bunch of names going through you can also do this with grades uh, different things whatever you want to do it's really really simple to do and then from here, I can do the same thing, and I can click on this, and then have another panel come up and give that chapter, or whatever you want to use it for. And you can actually do a tree node like this as well. Now, to populate your text box, you can do it programmatically, which is like this right here, where you have... Uh, the list box one dot items dot clear then list box one dot items dot add and add each one or you can come over to your properties and then where it says collection right here you just click on collection and then you can add all the ones i think this makes it a little bit more neater and you don't have a whole whole lot of code if you're not going to be changing this i recommend using this and so this right here is just a small tutorial on how to use the list box to be able to use the selection mode and to be able to open up different parts of your form or new pages. And so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like the tutorial please like, subscribe to my channel and share the channel as well as well as the video and it, there will also be a description of what I did in the description and if you have any comments or questions just leave that in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to it as soon as possible. This is Ian with Camp Nerd and thank you for watching.